Good morning. This is uh, Dr. Bob Flower, and this is your um, Monday, December 14th Master Pattern Report. Okay. As usual, let's let's take a look at uh, last week. Uh, we call for a higher dollar. Yes. Lower oil. Yes. Silver lower. Yes. Interest rates higher. Yes. Uh, more specifically, uh, for those of you who want more specifics, on the 8th, the S&P moved down 170 points. There was a swing of 170 points there. Uh, and silver had a um, uh, down move of uh, a little over 3%, right on target uh, on the 8th. Uh, and then um, on the 11th, it, there was a, a, a downswing of 2%. Uh, uh, for our, our, our um, uh, that was actually on on the tenth, but but as I'll show you on the chart, it was, it was right on target. Now uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, the master pattern itself because there the, the, there isn't a, a lot of discussion about this coming from uh, the viewers. Uh, the master pattern is not only utilized in market forecasting, but it's, it, but we utilize it in business politics. And most importantly, um, uh, personal applications. Uh, yes, we can uh, formulate personal profiles with incredible accuracy within minutes. Within minutes, folks. Uh, it can be utilized for problem solving, conflict resolution, planning, organizing, uh, and s success enhancement, as well as uh, intelligence exp expansion. It is a vastly superior system. Uh, and there are uh, hundreds of people that I have uh, taught this program to uh, who have um, gone on to do very, very, very well with it. And had, uh, some of them had immediate uh, career changes and been and, and, and terrific. Um, one of the key things with this uh, system is that uh, with, with what we call natural intelligence, uh, which is a discovery um, from where the master pattern came from, uh, one is capable of uh, reading another person's profile. Uh, again, with with uncanny accuracy when when they when they know how to do this, uh, this puts the other guy at a uh, tremendous uh, disadvantage, in, in, especially in business. Uh, the discovery of natural intelligence uh, enables one to develop the power of uh, forecasting. Uh, now, curiously, uh, the opposite of this is the absence of free will. By entrusting your fate to someone else, you surrender your free will and become a statistical pattern. So while some people ask, what's going to happen uh, to this or that uh, market, there are some who are asking, how can I do that? The problem is, that the latter is very few people compared to the former. Okay, and um, to totally depend upon um, a financial advisor for one or a behavioral advisor without taking action yourself, uh, at least to some degree, is is a formula for disaster. I've seen it happen with with some of the wealthiest people uh, in the world. Um, some of the most successful people in the world have, have um, entrapped themselves into situations of this sort. Okay? Um, so a word to the wise is sufficient. You, know, um, you want people to feed you fish? You may get, you may get some, some rotten eggs in, <laughs> in the cast. Um, okay, so, so let, let's, look at, uh, let's look at some charts. Uh, but before we do that, uh, the uh, we're looking at oil, uh, uh, an oil move uh, tomorrow, uh, the fifteenth. Uh, interest rates today and tomorrow. Uh, silver uh, today and the fifteenth, uh, and the S and P on the sixteenth. Okay, uh, let me show you. Um, by the way, oil. Uh, I, I said a week before that. Uh, it would break down to 70, and if it, if it penetrated 70, the next stop was 63. We think we, it looks 
looks like that's where we're headed is uh, 63. I'll have more on that next week. But that'll be the next uh, the next level. All right. Um, the, um, the the mover and shaker uh, right now is interest rates. Uh, they um, uh, the markets are anticipating some sort of an up move in June or September. Um, and as usual, you know the markets anticipate well ahead of time so that when the event occurs, it's it's a you know it's a non-factor at that time. People say, "Gee, I'll come." Well, this is the time for interest rates. Uh, now, I'm not telling you that they're going to go absolutely nuts. I mean, they may, but mm, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that now is the time to get in on a nice move with interest rates. We are we are um, we we think that uh, that you're going to see some 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 good good moves up here. And you may want to take advantage of that. So let me uh, let me just show you what that chart looks like, and um, and show you uh, how it uh, how it occurred uh, on Friday, which was the 11th. So you can see right over here the circle. The next date in line is December 14th, which is today. So we're looking for we're looking for a move, and we believe that move will be an up move and have some fish. Uh, the next one is um, silver. We've had a few people interested in silver. Can't understand it. Right? Um, but you can see where two of the cycles are both hitting, uh, both hit on Friday. Um, and I, I, I don't know why I missed that, but I, I don't know if I called Friday. I think I called Thursday. Uh, but Friday, and I'm sure, sure as hell, it hit right on the button. And you can see that uh, the next move is is today. Yeah, is today. That's right. Uh, and and th there may be another move uh, on the 16th. Um, but we're 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 watching the dollar. Uh, you you might get a little bounce here. But the 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 move uh, for gold and silver uh, is definitely down. Um, you know, let, let's see how this. It, how this plays out. Uh, unfortunately, what happens with, with, with these commodities is when they go, they go hard. Uh, either either way, or one or the other. Uh, as you can see, uh, as you can see, I want you to just once again look at the silver chart, and you can see how we started here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six trading days ago, which was over a week ago, uh, maybe a week and a half. Um, and you can see how how hard it slid down so far. All right, so keep an eye on it. We we um, we are short silver for a while here. Um, I'm going to try and play this thing down to about fifteen dollars. Um, it, it it that would be the next stop, and I'm going to put stops in my way as I'm as I'm going down uh, to see uh, to see how this thing uh, shakes out. But uh, I, we think that um, we think that we're, we're in for some uh, we think that we're in for some some trouble here within within the coming uh, six months. And yes, the market is somewhat chaotic, uh, but it's a sign of the times. It's not it's not ov overly manipulated. It, it's there's a lot of doubt, a lot of confusion, a lot of fear, panic, and whatnot. Um, politics are taking us uh, down. Uh, and eventually, uh, uh, not only us, but the world economy, within the next 30 months, 30 months, folks, we're getting close. The morons are going to try and spin us out of this mess so they don't look bad. In the meantime, what they're going to be doing is raising interest rates, and interest rates will rise, and boom, boom, and doom. And I wish Santa were coming this Christmas, but... I don't think so. Have a great uh, have a great week in any event, and uh, take advantage of polarity.